So I just made the mistake of making a video about a complicated way to run QMU when you could just do this instead. And it is download UTM as it's a front end for QMU and as sound. UTM is available in the App Store. We are smarter than that. We know it's open source. So we're going to download this bastard for free. Like a typical developer, I downloaded the source code and started to try and build it before I noticed they actually had the releases right there on the website. So if we go to the URL here, you'll see the UTM releases and let's get the latest one. It is a DMG and we'll download that and install it. The link to the releases is in the description of this video. Once you launch the app, you can also download pre-built UTM machines. Just click the giant browse UTM galleries and you'll be presented with a bunch of different options. Let's grab the Mac OS 9 one and try it out. I'll save you guys a few minutes by just doing a quick rundown. If you click this little guy right here, it'll enable the mouse mode. And to get in and out so you can use your mouse on the OS, hit control and option together to release the keyboard and mouse control from the virtual machine. You can also easily attach disk images by using this little icon right here and just locating your disk image you want to use. Before you swap your disk, be sure to eject it in the OS first. Programs that want you to disable virtual memory aren't going to run very well in QMU because the minute you disable virtual memory, things get a little weird in Mac OS 9. Ah yeah, listen to that glorious sound. If you would like to learn more about using Mac OS 9 and setting up with a web browser and things like that, check out Quinn's Corner's video on this topic. I thought it was pretty good. He made it almost the exact same time as I made my last video. UTM also will let you run Windows 11, but don't expect to play games because it doesn't have any of the optimization that Parallels has. If you would like to learn how to use QMU via the terminal, check out my last video. And I swear this is going to be the last QMU video for quite some time. While I didn't quite invalidate my last video, this is a hell of a lot easier to use. And this is probably the method you want to use if you're emulating Mac OS 9. Blech.